Let's look at a couple of new capabilities inside of Inventor 2021 when we're dealing with parts. In sheet metal, if I click on flange, I'm going to create a flange on here. In the past, I can only do it by a value or an angle value. What we can do now is we can click on the drop down for flange angle and pick by reference. I can then go pick a plane, a work plane, a face in the angle that I wanted to. So I'm going to click on this work plane here and as you can see now my flange is bent based on the angle of that face. The other new feature that's in Inventor 2021 for parts is the ability when you do 3D annotations or the model based definition is to incorporate custom properties of your part file or of your model. As you can see here, I have a custom property. So I'm going to go over to annotate and I'm just going to do a simple leader text, start it, bring it up. And then in my format text block, you can see that I have my custom property, so it shows the co company name. I'm going to insert it, hit OK, and as you can see, that it appears as a model-based annotation. If I go into my custom properties or into my properties and change it, so we're going to click on it, and we're going to just modify our text. We're going to hit Modify. And I'll hit OK. And as you can see, my model-based definition or my 3D annotation updates. Although I've demonstrated this as a part mode, the same concept works for the model-based annotation inside of an assembly. So you can see I have an assembly here of that same sheet metal part. I can click on leader text, click on that edge, do the same thing. When it comes up, I can pick custom properties of that model. You can see that the component company name is there, insert it, and hit OK.